Right now we have Ronnie Prefer, a professor at Western New England University. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. How exciting. Tell us about the research you're presenting here at AAPS. Um, so a little bit of backstory. This is the second time I presented here. Uh, three years ago I presented on our very, very preliminary work on this area, which is to uh, whether or not you could actually detect acetone in the breath. And at that time it was more um, still test tube based. And subsequently uh, we've done a lot of more work. We've um, developed actual device and we did a clinical study on these individuals. And so we were able to uh, report, and actually this is the first science conference where we're reporting this data, um, a um, true correlation between breath acetone and blood glucose for diabetic individuals. Wow, uh, some exciting news there. So the importance of it, why is it so important to get this out? Um, well, if you're uh, someone who's a diabetic, you may know of somebody who's a diabetic. If you're, say, a type 1 diabetic, you need to f prick your finger mm -hmm. 4 to 12 times a day. And type 2 diabetics, you need typically between 1 and 4 times a day. Um, the compliance level is ridiculously low. And fortunately, um, it's as low as 66% compliance level of mo self monitoring of blood glucose. And this in turn causes diabetic complications. And some of which, this is a $250 billion a year problem within the US alone. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just imagine, you know, you're, you have to pick your finger, save them four times a day. You're gonna maybe like, okay, I'm gonna miss this one. You know, I'll guess. And it's the guessing. So the question is, why do you, why do you skip? Well, because it's inflicting pain. And knowing that you'll have to prick your finger four times a day, every day, for the rest of your life, you will tend to skip one, two, three, who knows how many. And so your blood glucose levels go unchecked. And so therefore you're guessing or not even doing anything about it and then complications happen. So developing a non-invasive way of monitoring your blood glucose could have um, dramatic effects on the lifestyle and the health of diabetic population. I'm sure we talked about this prior to the interview. My dad's diabetic, mm -hmm. so it's great. It's wonderful to see the possibilities, mm -hmm. more options out there. Um, how does AAPS help propel your research? Well, as I mentioned, um, my first time I presented this work, again, on the test tube level, um, this was at um, in San Antonio, the AAPS. And it, it led, allowed a lot of um, attention to be brought to this. There aren't, we're not the only ones looking at non-invasive ways of doing it. Um, a little sidebar for a moment. Um, people have looked at uh, breath acetone for years. The problem is always that um, we breathe out 100% humidity. And so trying to wean out parts per million of acetone single with water present is caused significant difficulties. And mm -hmm. so that our technology is unique that it actually requires the hum uh, moisture in the breath to actually activate our sensor slides. So if, without moisture, it doesn't even work. You can pour pure acetone on our slides and it will not detect its presence. And so because we were able to do that and because of all the attention that we got received three years ago, two things. One, I felt it was logical to, if I was going to present the scientific results, it should be at the conference that propelled this. And also, because of all the media from before, this actually forced us almost to actually do a spin-off company. So we actually have a company now from this technology, and we're just finishing off the seed round of funding, um, New England Breath Technologies. So um, we're actually very excited about that as well, because it's led to a lot of interest and a lot of um, potential um, financial rewards for us, but also for the diabetic population as a whole. A lot of exciting news as a whole. Thank <laughs> you, Professor Preeper, for taking the time to talk with us today. My pleasure, my pleasure.